Welcome to a series of videos dedicated to expression training. In the recordings, we will go through various exercises aimed at developing expression skills. We will find not only techniques that improve the expressiveness of our body language, but also tools that will help us communicate our emotions better and more freely and stimulate our improvisation skills. One of the main goals of these exercises is to show that expression is more than just a way of communication, it is a fundamental element of our identity. Through exercises, we will discover various aspects of expression, from basic techniques, through more advanced methods, to elements of improvisation and expression in unexpected conditions. I encourage you to actively participate, experiment and above all have fun. What are you doing, Keisha? This exercise allows you to train quick adaptation of nonverbal expression to the task, the essence of which is some assumed expression. It comes from the catalogue of improvisation tasks. It can take place in a circle when I am already working with a larger group. It can be conducted in small subgroups, it can be performed by pairs, it can also be done by the instructor and the person led by him. The person starting the sequence assumes some body position. They can perform some movement at the same time, they can also be in a static position. However, the point is that this position should show something, for example brushing teeth, driving a car, or digging a shovel in the ground. This is the moment when the person initiating the exercise, it can be the leader, shows others what it is about, performing this sequence for the first time. Then there is time for the next participant to join the exercise. To join, the next participant asks the person in this position, or performing this movement, the question, what are you doing, Keisha? This name Keisha can be any name for a given group or pair. The point is that it is repeated so that participants can feel like they are playing a role, not being themselves. The person asked answers the question, what are you doing, Keisha? However, this person's answer should contain content other than the action or body position of the person answering. In other words, when, for example, I show driving a car, to the question what are you doing, Keisha? I answer for example I'm brushing my teeth or I'm flying a spaceship. At this point, the person asking has the task of taking the place of the person answering and start showing the action that was mentioned in the answer. In other words, the one who asked what are you doing, Keisha, now has to non-verbally, without saying anything, show this action that he heard. The leader should show this sequence first with a selected volunteer. This exercise, although in its course it is usually fun, dynamic, interesting, funny, surprising, at first is abstract for participants who do not know it. Therefore, the leader should take the first risk and show his expression in a task that is essentially a riddle. The leader should guide the group through this task so that the actions that appear first are known, easy, common, i.e. driving a car, brushing teeth, watering flowers, dressing, opening a door with a key. These actions are known and obvious. However, when the group or subgroup already finds itself in this exercise and starts to have fun with it, the leader should raise the bar. That is, start suggesting ideas so that participants start proposing expression in abstract tasks, such as introducing a spaceship or baking a five-meter bread. The leader should encourage people who are hesitant to participate, who have not yet entered the exercise. The value of the exercise increases when the whole group participates in it, which promotes free expression. However, the leader should not press these people too quickly, so that they can get used to performing the exercise by those who are more motivated. It would be good for participants to take part in the exercise several times. At the beginning they explore expressions of relatively easy actions, and later more and more difficult, abstract ones. This is also an exercise in creativity and freedom to find oneself in spontaneous behavior, which is an expression of oneself. This exercise may cause some difficulties at the beginning. However, it is worth remembering that at the beginning it develops slowly, and then it gains dynamics and really works. I recommend and wish you a great fun in this task. Exercise, get out of my way. The exercise allows you to experiment with expression to achieve a specific goal in a relationship. This concerns such topics as emotionality, assertiveness, agency, self-contact, setting boundaries, mental resilience, leadership. The exercise can be conducted by a varying number of people. In smaller groups, up to 10 people, it is worth carrying out in full. In larger groups, it can be conducted in subgroups. 
it is crucial that participants understand the instructions and intentions of the exercise well. One person, a volunteer, stands opposite the rest of the group. The other participants stand in a line facing the volunteer. Each subsequent person stands behind the previous one. The first person in line, closest to the volunteer, makes eye contact with him. The volunteer's task is to say the words get out of my way, changing his expression until the first person in line gives way to him. Then the volunteer can continue saying these words to the next person in line. The person who gave way goes to the end of the line and can participate in the exercise again with the same volunteer. The volunteer should look for such an expression of voice, facial expressions, gestures, such an internal state, that will make the person standing opposite decide to give way. She should do this not because of understanding the words, but because of an internal need to give way. On a deeper level, the exercise is an opportunity to seek consistency in the message and its expression to achieve goals in a relationship. The person from the queue should remain opposite the volunteer until he says his words convincingly enough that she feels the need to give way. Volunteers can change at will. Often people from the queue can move to its end. The task of the leader is to encourage participants in the queue to leave the place in accordance with their feeling, and volunteers to seek a consistent, holistic message. The leader should encourage volunteers to search longer, not to escape too early into known patterns. People who do not want to actively participate in the exercise should be encouraged to observe, with the possibility of joining later. Exercise, change of expression inspired by space and situation. This exercise helps in developing freedom of behavior and self-expression in response to the situation and behavior of other people. The group moves freely, each in their own way. Participants walk around the room, focusing on themselves, breathing normally, moving calmly. The leader has a list of platforms, places that can inspire participants to specific behaviors, such as a zoo, ice rink, market, apple orchard, anthill, space station, court, etc. The word platform here means a space that is easily recognizable by participants, it is known what can happen in it, what characters, people, phenomena, events can appear there. The leader warns participants that he will give the name of the platform, and their task, after hearing this name, will be to enter the role they choose and undertake the expression resulting from this role. For example, in a zoo they can become an animal, an animal caretaker, an animal cage, a zoo guest, a tree, etc. Each participant's task is to exhibit behavior appropriate for a given role, and then enter into interactions with other participants playing other roles, without revealing what role they have taken. It is important for participants to give themselves time for their ideas for their behavior to appear and develop, independently and in relationships with others. The leader should allow participants to freely express their ideas, encourage the development of ideas and experiment with expression. The leader should also invite to intensify, change, weaken, undertake, and also not undertake expression, allow some participants to be inspired by just observing others. Undertaking expression in roles on each platform should have its time, for example five minutes, and participants may have additional tasks, for example to interact with at least three other people, or to show at least three types of expression in a given role. After the time for one platform has passed, the leader changes the platform and the exercise starts anew. The number of platforms proposed by the leader can be arbitrary, but this exercise is most effective if there are many changes. However, the time for one platform should not be shortened, as this will make it difficult for participants to discover their possibilities for changing expression and may cause reluctance to continue working. Therefore, it is worth leaving time for self-discovery and mutual inspiration.